Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in the beautiful wine region of Lower Franconia, Germany. So I have been making cultural related videos here on YouTube for eight years now. One of my first videos which really helped me get my channel up and running with the whole German theme is a video I made called Weird Things They Do in Germany. So I was not expecting for this video to be so popular but so many people really enjoyed it and they enjoyed it so much that I had to make a part two and a part three and honestly as a New Zealander living here the culture shocks just keep coming. I have to say at this point the culture shocks have become less and I feel very much integrated into German culture. I love living in Germany and when I go back to New Zealand I actually experience reverse culture shock so that's how Germanized I have become. So I thought it was about time for another weird things they do in Germany video. I haven't made one of these for quite a long time but this video is going to be a little bit different because this is going to be weird things they do in Germany explained. So when I first started making these videos I would talk about things I found different, amusing, unusual here in Germany and I would get a lot of feedback. A lot of feedback from Germans explained explaining why they did these things and I just found this feedback just so helpful and my German subscribers have really really helped me understand German culture so much better and because of my German subscribers I feel so much more integrated. I just have a deeper understanding and appreciation for why Germans do things the way they do. Okay guys, so let's get into it. I'm going to be talking about five weird things they do in Germany and I'm going to explain why Germans do these things. So in no particular order. This is something I talked about many, many years ago. This was one of my very first German culture shocks and this was the fact that the majority of German couples sleep with separate duvets in the same bed. I found this so weird when I first came to Germany and I realized this. I had never seen this in New Zealand. This is just not a thing in New Zealand. In New Zealand, if you're a married couple, if you're in a relationship and you sleep in the same bed, you sleep under one duvet. You actually have a sheet and then a duvet, but there is no separation between you. And the thought of having a separate duvet, I don't know, it just seemed to me a little like prudish. I just didn't understand the concept behind it and the reason why Germans preferred to sleep like this. So when I I first came to Germany my husband Rob, my then husband, my boyfriend at the time, we were staying with his parents. He had just come back from traveling around New Zealand for a year so we started out living with his parents and this is when I first got to experience the separate duvet situation and at first obviously I just thought it was unusual and Rob said to me this is the best way to sleep and I I didn't believe him until I tried it for myself and I realized he was right. Germans are right. This is the best way to sleep. To this day we still sleep with separate duvets and I don't think I will ever go back. You just get a better night's sleep. You are not interrupting your partner in the night by pulling off their blanket because you have your own blanket and it is just so comfortable when you can arrange your duvet the way you want. Everybody has a different style of sleeping. Some people like to wrap their legs around their duvet, some people like to tuck their duvet in and if you've got your own duvet you can decide how you want to sleep. So number two, this is on the same topic. Something I found so weird when I first came to Germany was the fact that it was almost impossible to find a bed bigger than a double bed without a big crack in the middle. I mentioned this in one of my very first videos, how I just, I found this really unusual because this is just not a thing in New Zealand. In Germany it's so normal for two separate mattresses to be just put together to form a queen or a king size bed. Occasionally you do find a double bed in Germany but they're pretty rare. It's more common for a couple to sleep in a bed with two separate mattresses. 
I just didn't understand this at all. I just thought like, why would you want to sleep with a big crack in the middle? It's just not practical. I didn't think it was practical. The reason why German couples sleep on separate mattresses is because you can customize your mattress to suit you. My husband is so much taller than me. I am five foot one on a good day and he is almost six foot three. So he needs a different mattress. When we got our first apartment of our own in Germany, we actually bought a double bed because I just didn't want the crack in the middle, the two separate mattresses. And after a while, I realized that his side was sinking down and my side was staying up because he was so much heavier than me and it became so uncomfortable. And then I realized that is why they have the separate mattresses because couples come in a variety of different weights and shapes and sizes. By having a separate mattress you can customize the mattress exactly how you want and you get a better night's sleep without disturbing your partner. So how do you cuddle with your partner when there's a big crack in the middle? Easy, you just roll over to their side or they just roll over to your side, it's not a big deal. So once again Germans are so logical, so practical and this just makes complete sense. Okay, so number three, something that I found really weird when I first came to Germany was hearing Germans say ciao. I always thought ciao was Italian, not German. Germans also like to say tschüss, which is actually German, but so many Germans like to say ciao, and I just thought that was a bit weird. Like, why would they use an Italian word in German? Even my little three-year-old has picked up on it. He says ciao, it's super cute. So I did a little bit of research on this. So ciao became popular in the 50s. So after World War II, Germany didn't have enough workers to keep the economy going. So Germany made contracts with workers from close by countries and they came to Germany as guest workers. They were supposed to go home after a few years. Many of them stayed. So the first guest workers were from Italy and Greece. Many of the Italian workers opened restaurants and ice cream parlors and integrated really well into German culture. And some of their Italian words slowly crept into the German language and one of those words was ciao and it has stayed. Germans also seem to really love Italian names. So I have met so many German men in particular around 40 to 50 with Italian names. Two of my very close expat friends here in Germany have German husbands, very German husbands, called Marco and Carlo. So very Italian. It's also not unusual to meet a middle-aged German man called Riccardo, Mario, Nico. Germans just have a little bit of a love affair with Italy which all stems back to the Italian guest workers from the 50s. Okay, so something else I found super weird when I first came to Germany was the fact that if you are renting an apartment in Germany, most likely your apartment will come with no kitchen at all. There'll just be a big empty space where a kitchen should be, but there's no kitchen, you have to buy it yourself. For me, this didn't make any sense at all, but I have come to learn the reason why most German apartments come with no kitchen is because many Germans are long-term renters. I've actually made a whole video talking about why so many Germans rent rather than buy their own home and it's very common for Germans to rent for life. So in this case it does make sense for you to put in your own kitchen. It's also just not very profitable for a landlord to invest in buying a kitchen and all of the necessary appliances and then the tenant is going to be staying for years in that apartment so they would rather invest in their own kitchen and have the kitchen set up exactly exactly the way that they want. In Germany, renting is thought of as a long-term option or a permanent option even, and landlords give their tenants a lot more freedom to decorate and custom their home to how they want. So if you want to rent an apartment or a house in Germany for a short amount of time and you don't want to invest in a really nice kitchen, there are so many other options. You can go on eBay Kleinanzeigen and you can find a really inexpensive kitchen. People are even giving away perfectly fun functioning, really nice kitchens and appliances. You just have to come and pick them up. So there are plenty of options. 
Okay, so last but not least, something I found just so weird when I first came to Germany is the fact that many German toilets, particularly in older German homes, have this shelf which your poop lands on and yeah, I had never seen anything like this before. I was absolutely horrified and mortified when I first noticed this in Germany. I thought there was something wrong with the toilet and I, I don't even know what I thought but I was panicking. I soon did realize that this was just the way these German toilets were designed. So like everything in Germany there is a perfectly logical reason as to why the toilets are designed like this. So for one toilets like this require less water and it also prevents splashing when you are doing number two. Probably the most logical reason as to why these toilets have this little shelf is because you can actually see your poop and inspect it for health reasons. Apparently the state of your poop can say a lot about your general health. So there you go. So anyway guys, I have come to the end of this video. I hope you found it interesting and maybe a little bit entertaining. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love you to consider subscribing. That would mean so much to me. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye.